I know. What about the weekend? Hey, I have the Magic City Classic forecast coming up here in just a good. second, so okay, I'll good. let people good, know. Good, good. I think during the week, all the festivities during the week will be great. Tonight, there's a little bit of leftover rain. That's clearing out, though. This is a live picture from Summerton. This is we, as we look live and seeing that rain beginning to kind of taper just a bit. 64 is our current temperature there. Winds remaining out of the south. That's going to draw in a lot of that wet Gulf air. Primes our atmosphere. We get some rain out of the mix. And that rainfall in East Alabama continues to push closer to that Georgia border. Now beginning to move through center Jacksonville. It's moved out of Anniston. At least the heavy rain has. And it's now stretching right over Interstate 20, moving closer to Heflin. Another pocket of wet weather from Lineville all the way down um, into portions of the river region. Now we're looking at light rain along and primarily east of I-65 with a clearing sky back to our west. Still a lingering line of some scattered showers right along the Mississippi-Alabama state line. Those will continue to push into West Alabama. So I'm not giving the all clear for rain just yet. Things in part to this really long swath of wet weather, but you'll notice not a lot of warnings or watches out there. Most of the active weather staying well to our south. That will continue marching along the panhandle of Florida, but we will start to see a clearing sky tonight. Notice the rainfall totals in the last 24 hours. Heaviest amounts of rainfall back to our west, nearing three quarters of an inch in most spots. About a quarter of an inch now in Birmingham. Trace amounts from Alabaster down towards Clanton. Now, as we track the rain for the remainder of the evening, as I mentioned before, there's going to be that back edge of rain that slides on through. I'll give the all clear after midnight for West Alabama. I'll give the all clear for East Alabama after about 3 a.m. By 6 o'clock, though, sun's up and the skies will be clearing out and the temperatures are already, already starting to fall just a bit. We've seen a 6 degree drop in temperatures there in Hamilton and cooling off just a touch to our east. Notice the numbers 64 in Talladega. We still have 62 in Hamilton with 63 in Fayette currently closer to 70 across Birmingham. Winds still remaining out of the south for us at around five miles per hour, so not that extreme. But after this cold front moves through, notice back to our west Memphis at 10 miles per hour, Shreveport about 15 miles per hour. That will be when the wind shifts out of the north and things will be getting awfully cooler, especially overnight midweek. For tonight, low 50s, the rain will continue, but it lets up, as I said, early Tuesday morning. Clearing sky tomorrow, temperatures at around 68 degrees. And after that rain moves out, that front passes, the sky clears out, and a ridge of high pressure dominates our weather through midweek. But then I'll be tracking another cold front. That's going to be arriving Friday. As this warm front lifts to our north, that's going to draw in a little bit of wet air as we round out the week. Could provide a shower or storm for us as we move into the weekend. For that Magic City Classic, 60 degrees. It does look like clouds are possible, but the rain chances actually maybe later Friday into early Saturday may not disrupt the ball game all that much. Still lots to iron out there. Some stray showers possible in Death Valley. Auburn takes on LSU in the Arkansas game at Alabama 60s with a mostly cloudy sky. So I don't think it's going to be all rough weather this weekend. Sunshine for the next few days, but just a little unsettled as we round out the weekend head into the weekend. And that's a look at your storm.